The sloping hills of Percy Warner Park will once again this year be a magnificent backdrop for the 80th running of the Iroquois steeplechase on June 26th. This track has seen many an exciting race finish over the last eight decades in the Music City. Since the early 1940s, horses have strained for victory over the same punishing finish at Heartbreak Hill. The feature race was named for the 19th century American horse Iroquois, who won the 1881 Epsom Derby in England. The land for the parks was donated in the 1930s and named for two brothers in the Warner family, Percy and Edwin. Around the same time, several prominent horsemen in Nashville were looking for the perfect spot for a course that would rival the best in England. With money provided from FDR's Works Progress Administration, the race course at Percy Warner Park was finished and ready for racing by the early 1940s. The first steeplechase race days were held between 1941 and 1943, but were halted in 1944 for World War II. It wasn't until 2020's COVID-19 global pandemic that another steeplechase race day event was missed. Over the years, the course has seen many great champions, like three-time winner of the Iroquois, Uncle Edwin, four-time winning jockey, Blythe Miller, and five-time winning trainer, Jack Fisher. This June, more memories will be made at this grand track where jockeys, trainers, owners, horses, and spectators will come together on a spectacular Saturday to celebrate this annual tradition. When Nashville's Rite of Spring turns for one year to summer at Steeplechase.